What up, y'all? It's DJ Alpha Tyler back again, and you know what time it is. That probably won't stick around as a catch line, but I am back with another reaction. Today, it looks like we're going to be featuring Machine Gun Kelly, Glass House, featuring Naomi uh, Wild. Is that Naomi Wild? Let's see. Yep. All right. So what brought us to this uh, reaction? A couple of days ago, my channel got the most attention it's probably ever gotten when I reacted to MGK's uh, cover of Paramore Misery Business. All right. Now, I'm not going to say that I got an overwhelmingly negative reaction because interesting fact down in the comments, a lot of you guys real positive, giving me some alternate suggestions. Absolutely appreciate that. I'm looking for talent. Learn a lot about MGK. Learned that apparently he plays some instruments, the drums, the piano. We saw him playing the uh, guitar in the video. And as a musician, I know most people who can play the guitar can play the bass. So maybe MGK is a secret Trent Reznor. I didn't know that. Appreciate you guys telling me. I've got a challenge for myself. My challenge is every day for the next week, I'm going to try to upload at least one video. I'm aiming for three because that's what we've been doing for the past couple of days but at least one per day for the next week. And I'd like to start scheduling these so I've got a consistent time and stuff. I don't know about the scheduling part for now. I'm just going to keep putting them up when I'm done with them. That said, I've got a challenge for you guys too. If you enjoy this video, give us a like. If you enjoy uh, the reaction, want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go check out some of our other videos. Also, if you've got some friends who are into this kind of content, send them my way. Tell, tell them to check us out. If they like the music, maybe they haven't heard the songs and they want to check it out while I'm checking it out. Get another opinion. I love reaction videos. I've been wanting to do a channel like this for a long time. I think it's an awesome way to connect over music. And I absolutely appreciate you guys who have been down in the comments telling me what songs to check out now. I don't stand for anybody. I mentioned in the last uh, reaction to MGK, I don't really know him beyond Rap Devil. That's true. That's how, I, that's how I got introduced to MGK was through the beef with Eminem. I've been an Eminem fan for about 20 years. You can check out my Eminem reaction that's on my channel right now. I've only got one so far, and it wasn't my cup of tea either. So I'm going to tell you what I see. It's not personal. If you love MGK, don't think there's any hate intended because I didn't enjoy his cover of Misery Business. That said... If you got something to say, go down and say it. If you want to dislike the video, dislike the video. If you enjoy it, I would appreciate you giving it a like. All right. So that being said, we've got Glass House, Machine Gun Kelly featuring Naomi Wild. I'm looking forward to this. You guys told me I would learn a lot about MGK. Like I told you in my last video, I don't know MGK. I'm not familiar with his music. I haven't checked out anything, anything he's put out for a while. So I'm excited to see this. Um, I really, as far as, as far as rap songs go, I really, at this point, can only say for sure that I know Rap Devil. I probably listened to something else that he came out with around the same time because of what I do, where I DJ. Um, a lot of people aren't really asking for him. So this is cool to me because maybe it's something I want to start carrying around with me. Also, for audio quality in the video, I pulled out the ears. They're a little beat up. These are the ears that I take to uh, events with me. So excuse the appearance. I'm not all about uh, what looks pretty. I'm all about what works well. And yes, I know that these are gaming headphones, but I'm telling you, you plug them into that system right there, you've got a world of difference. All right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now. Sorry for the long intro. I uh, wanted to drop those challenges and talk to you guys for a minute. Appreciate everyone who's been active in my comments. I'm going to keep the closing short on this video. Thanks for coming back and checking us out. Here's Glasshouse MGK. Mm -hmm. So already, so all, all alone in the glass house, um, 
uh, one thing that stands out to me about this title. So I was told I'm going to learn a lot about MGK from this song. And so I got to thinking, what, what is a glass house? And, and a glass house, you know, we all know the phrase, don't throw stones from a glass house. You don't want to be saying things about people when you're sitting on, on, on a shallow pedestal or, or behind weak defenses, you know, when there's so much more that could be coming back at you. So maybe you guys threw this up at me because, because I said I didn't like that song. I, I hope that's not the case because, again, I appreciate so much about him musically. But um, I like I like the I like the tone here so far. I'm going to say this already sounds like something that I would listen to personally. So let's go ahead and go with it. Burn so many bridges, got nowhere to go. I mess up and lose control. Burn so many bridges, got nowhere to go. We all know, we all, we all know what we're talking about there, right? Bitches got these motives like Anna and Nicole. I'm smoking cigarettes alone until it burn a hole in my lungs, in my soul, in my denim coat. Same place I'ma keep that knife if I'ma slip my throat. This shit ugly. I was just with Nipsey Night Ghost. They even got my homie Pete out here like fuck the jokes. Damn. All alone in the glass house. Just keep it going. Fly away till the sun's out. In the sky when you come down. Sometimes I want to fucking scream or run away. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna pause right there because um, take it take it out of that first verse and and then the spoken right there uh, talking about wanting to scream and cry or run away. Um, this this is coming from a low point, and and I, and I can feel that. I mean, uh, if you checked out a lot of my videos, you know, I can relate to those low points because I've I've hit them too myself, um, but. You know, one thing I can appreciate there, he's talking about smoking a cigarette until it burns. And, you know, we all know when you get down to the filter and sometimes when you're not paying attention, when you're focused somewhere else, you know, you smoke that cigarette down to the filter and it starts starts burning your fingers, burns your lips, whatever the case. But, but then he says, you know, burning a hole and, and getting to his denim jacket where he's going to keep the knife. Um, he's definitely dealing with a lot of heartache. But I think beneath the surface, one of the big things that he's looking at there is that is that pain and that distraction that kind of keeps you focused on something else while you're going through this and you're dealing with those thoughts so um interested to see where he goes with this for sure hey life's been hard since 17 i've been through hell i think i'm somewhere in between caught in purgatory i can paint the scene everything turned to a nightmare from a dream look wish little peep and me had spoke but i can't get that back just came from Pittsburgh, damn, I miss my homie Mac. Yeah. Last time I got off the stage, I looked Chester in the face, but now he gone and ain't no going back. All right, so pause. Um, was he tied with Mac Miller? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing when he talks about miss my homie Mac, that's talking about Mac Miller. Um, so, so I caught there, you know, he's saying it's been hard since 17, talking about things that are gone that he can't get back. Um, you know, something I think about, you know, for me, um, I'm a grown man, married, got a, got a family, a child. And, you know, I think about the things that are lost, maybe the things that I did uh, back in the day that I would do over, do differently or change or something. I mean, I'm happy where I'm at. I wouldn't change anything that led to this point. But, you know, maybe things that I'm not proud about when I talk to my friends. And, you know, a lot of that kind of ties into what I was saying a minute ago you know, those things that you, that you end up focused on when you're dealing with heartache and stuff. So, um, hundred percent, I can tell you guys already, I'm, 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 I'm feeling, I'm feeling every part of this song. So, uh, probably just going to let it play for a minute and stop talking, but. I've been sick of living and nobody knows how I'm really feeling. 
I always hated the smile, but the key with is killing me hidden inside. I didn't sign up to be the hero, but I don't want to wind up a villain. I put my daughter to bed and attempted to kill myself in the kitchen. Yeah, I should have screamed, but nobody listened. So I passed out with the blood dripping in this glass house, feeling like a prison. Me and death keep tongue kissing. I just fell out with my little bro. The life getting to us, the drink getting to us, the drugs getting to us. It's highway to hell and everybody knew what the fuck are we doing. I'm feeling like... Why don't you throw me in the dress So I'm gonna pause there. You know, he, he talked about thinking about thinking about yourself as a hero, and not wanting to be a villain and stuff. And and um, you know, he's he's still talking about loss, talking about this glass house feeling like a prison. You know, when we're trapped in the glass house, again, we don't want to be throwing stones from a glass house. We can we can break the walls, or you know, even even worse, if we're throwing stones from a glass house and somebody's throwing them back, they're gonna get past our defenses. And you know, you know, he taught he talked through all these things that all these things that you do that that maybe you don't want to be doing those things or you want to get away from those things but you're trapped and you're stuck inside those things and and uh you know just huge i mean i mean um I think that i've had and stuff especially too over the years you know knowing that they've had problems or something and, and just seeing them make those same mistakes over and over no matter how many people are supporting them and pushing them through um but it all comes down to having that one thing to listen to, you know, or that one thing to hold you down and ground you. And especially where he talks about, you know, falling out with his brother and stuff. I mean, that's, is, dude, this is truth. These are real things. I mean. All alone in the glass house, lie awake till the sun's out, in the sky when you come down. All right, so that was MGK Glass House. Um, definitely appreciate you guys sending that my way. Uh, that was that was deep. I really enjoyed it. We're talking about a lot of ups and downs uh, through life. I think we all experience that. If you can't relate to this song, give it about five or ten years. Come back, you'll probably be exactly where everybody else feeling this song is because. You know, when when I look back, maybe as a teenager and stuff, when I was making mistakes, even um, not that I don't today, but I mean, when I was making some of the bigger ones, um, one of the things I never realized was how I was going to look at those 10 or 15 years later. Um, the song's huge. I'm definitely impressed with the beat. Love the beat. Love that. Uh, I think I mentioned before in some of my reactions that. I really enjoy the contrasting sounds and so when you've got that soft beat especially when you've got you know female vocals on the on the hook uh, with kind of a more rugged rapper or singer uh, what, whatever the case may be you know it really really brings out a lot of the emotion that I would want to see in a song that, that I personally would want to listen to so uh, props to MGK for this one definitely interested you know you guys told me he plays with a full band when he's doing his shows so when when he's doing that does that include songs like this because I know you know a lot of this was kind of um, it, it wasn't necessarily the guitars and everything um, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, are, does he, does he rock a DJ for those things? Does he play a track for those things? Or does he, does the band still, you know, play a variant of that? Or are, are they playing this? Is this a real instrumental? So, I mean, uh, maybe some of you guys who are familiar with the credits, maybe let me know. Um, but appreciate you guys sending this. If you enjoyed the reaction, give it a like. Uh, if you like the channel want to see more reactions, go check out our videos. Give us a subscribe. There will be a link to this video down in the description. If you haven't seen it, go ahead, go to the page, give it a like. Um, got some love for MGK. Like I said, I'm not going to stand for anybody. If I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it. This was quality, and I really enjoyed this. So thank you guys. 
Till next time, peace.